Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Nice digs. I see where all that Black Ops funding really goes now. Invoking Alpha Protocol does have its upside. Jealous. Of you freezing your butt off in Moscow? Not so much. Although there is a certain appeal to sitting in that loft drinking cocoa while you are crawling around in the snow. Ooh, you're a cruel woman. All right, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori, and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important, although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads, too. Plus, they might be able to tell me what bars and strip joints I should hit while I'm here. If you're trying to make me jealous... I'm an international super spy. I have obligations. Just call when you have anything new, hotshot. Welcome to Moscow. You are fresh from Rome, yes? Terrible thing, terrorists. But if you keep them from blowing up the target, then it is good. I take it no one was hurt? Not exactly. I feel honored. Your first time in Moscow, and I am your first stop. What brings Michael Thornton, world traveler, to this humble bar? Since you've just proved you're well-informed about global events, maybe you should start talking about local ones. Moscow is a big place, Mr. Thornton. I want to know about Halbeck. Maybe you should go to their website. I ask you a question, I expect an answer. Now, are you Grigori? Yes, yes. Halbeck is smuggling weapons into Moscow. Who's their contact here? I do not know. Look at that. You spilled your vodka. I told you. I do not know. Then tell me something useful. Keep playing stupid. You're done. You... You want Surkov. Sergei Surkov. Halbeck. It is a business like his. He may know how to help you. Mina, that name mean anything to you? I think we can work with that. Don't make more of a scene, okay? Everyone in that bar is probably armed. If you'd give me a name when I first showed up, Gregory, you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble. Enjoy your drink, and you better hope I don't come back. What the hell is going on here? What, nothing to say? I want to know what you're doing here. Who sent you? You're just a kid, so I'm willing to let this go. But you keep pushing it. I think so.
What's up with the connection? Looks like something's interfering with the transmission. Or great. You guys again. And I take it you're the leader? I ran into a little friend of yours tonight, hanging out with your G22 buddies. She's quite the little firecracker, although she doesn't talk much. Well, except with those pistols of hers. That would be my bodyguard, sis. And I know you spared her life. That's why I'm calling. I didn't want to fight her. I was only there for Lazo. But she didn't give me much choice. It was under my orders, Mike. But I didn't realize you would be there. Else, I would have instructed Sis to behave differently. So should I ask what G-22 is doing in Moscow? You guys sure seem to get around. It's a rather long answer, Mike. One I'd like to discuss more, if you'd be up for it. Is your bodyguard invited? If so, I'll need body armor. I'm afraid it's required she be present. We're not supposed to be apart. It's how G-22 operates in the field. But like you, I tend to bend the rules for the sake of the greater good. I'll leave the choice up to you, but I can't wait long. If you want to discuss your future, then meet me at the following coordinates. It isn't far. And come alone. All right. But I better not be walking into an ambush and tell Sis to keep her distance. I will do so. I will not wait long, Mike. So if you want to speak to me, you'll have to do it soon. Beautiful night. Let's not ruin it by shooting each other. It's all right, sis. Hello, Mike. No trouble finding the place, I hope. No. I was curious why you wanted to talk in person. Telemarketing through the video screen seemed more your style. Sometimes. At the moment, I'd rather show a little more trust in each other. You spared sis's life. For that, you have my thanks. I have something of hers. Here. Did she give that to you? I see. The locket is a childhood memento. Perhaps those days are gone. Regardless, thank you for sparing her life. The gratitude comes from both of us, it seems. Well, things were a little tense on Lazo's yacht. It happens. Just glad things didn't get too carried away. No hard feelings, kid? She's a mute. Let's walk. Sis will make sure we're not interrupted. All right. So, what did you want to talk about? I know to all outward appearances you're a rogue agent. I also know about Alpha Protocol. And in your case, it's being used for its intended purpose. It wasn't my choice, really. One of my associates made the decision for me. I disagree. You had other options, I'm sure. Did enacting Alpha Protocol change your mission? No. Then you should be proud of your accomplishment. What accomplishment? It's not often that one gets to turn the tools of their own government against them, and for the right reasons. And Alpha Protocol? It is a powerful tool. Between Halbeck and you, I'm beginning to feel like everyone knows about Alpha Protocol. It may seem that way. I'd argue you're simply traveling in a smaller circle here, on the fringe of international politics. I don't know what you want, Albatross. G-22's agenda? Doesn't seem like you have one. No. We have aspirations, as does any government. But we believe that agendas are accomplished by careful study and observation. If the status quo is disrupted, it makes predicting triggers and events more... difficult. You sound like one of the analysts of Alpha Protocol I know. Alpha Protocol has always had someone in that role. It helps them function as intended, no matter what iteration of the program. It's an odd thing. A government-sponsored program whose purpose is to prevent being policed by its own government. Now what kind of foundation is that for a country? I guess you have to trust your country and act in its best interests. Do you trust your country? I do. I believe in the mission. I propose we become allies. What, I become a member of G-22? No. I propose we cooperate. You will find that as extensive as Alpha Protocol's leftover safe houses and gadgets are, well, 
G-22 has access to much more. And the price? Let us say, I owe you. You've already paid me, and the only currency I value. What do you say? All right. I need all the friends I can get. And for some reason, I trust you. You won't regret it, Mike. We're out of time, I'm afraid. Thank you for listening to me, Mike. I know you have a great deal of work ahead of you. Albatross, I need to know something. Yes. What? This business with Halbeck. I can still prevent it, right? There's a way to stop them. This isn't going to end well, is it? Mike, it never does. Those boxes you are crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Wait, you are Michael Thornton. You are the one who caused so much trouble for poor Conrad in Rome, yeah? He tried to kill me first. <laughs> I think we will be fast friends, darling. Conrad and I, well, we have our professional differences. So no love lost between you two then? In this business, there is no love to begin with. Here to catch a train? Let's ditch the interrogation. You're here for the missiles, so let's not play games. Darling, I do not play games. And apparently, neither do you. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets. Could have fooled me. Them? They didn't take many bullets. You... I'm not so sure it would be as easy. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get what we want. Stay out of my way and we'll get along fine. <laughs> I accept your terms. Do not harm my men and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then it sounds like a deal. For now. That is good. Because I think we have company. I found the shipping manifests, but no mention of the missiles. Weapons. A lot of them. Are coming through this train yard. But not the ones we're looking for. All right, get out of there then. It still could help us. Michael, I did not realize you knew how to kill so well. I don't like to brag. <laughs> and so polite. Maybe I should keep a more careful eye on you. Look all you want, but tell me what you're doing here first. You're mercenaries. Who's your employer? Michael, I am not one to kiss and tell. Fine. I'll find out eventually. Yes. Especially if we were to keep working together. We could make our trip to Moscow a quick one. And efficient. You're kidding. It is not marriage I am proposing, Michael. But is the thought so unappealing, I am hurt. I will be in touch, Michael. I think we will have much to discuss soon, guy. All right. In the interests of international goodwill, I accept. I would wait until you hear my offer first, but it will not be long, I promise. Perfect. 
turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well-connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Mike, I understand you're going after Surkov. I suppose it's too much to ask to give me some warning before you interrupt my calls. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are considerable. All right. I could use all the help I can get. Excellent. I have your frequency. I'll contact you when you reach the embassy. I can go from there. I'll get my gear and head out. All right. One last thing, Mike. I prefer infiltrating the embassy quietly. If things should get difficult, however... I'll be ready. Expecting trouble? Always. Great. What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Albatross is going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. So this is the embassy, huh? I was hoping for something a little cheerier. There's still no contact from G-22. Do you want to call them? Albatross. Our surveillance indicates you're at the embassy perimeter. Can you confirm? I'm guessing that feedback means you've cut me off from my handler. I've locked down your signal to keep radio traffic to a minimum. It's a low probability embassy security will pick up our conversation, but I'm worried about other interests. So how do you want to do this? Are we going to be on the buddy system? Wear matching t-shirts? Our goal is to reach Surkov, extract the information, and then go our separate ways. Don't mistake my intentions, Mike. If I had agents in place, I would use them. All right, let's see what we got at the front door. Marines are stationed in the front. Well armed, and the embassy is on alert. Did you tell anyone you were in Moscow? They were warned about our visit, probably through local informants. I spoke to Grigori, but I thought I had that angle covered. He was scared so bad that I'm surprised he would have told anyone. Sometimes I'm surprised by your naivete. Apparently, Grigori was frightened enough to speak to someone here. Maybe Surkov himself. How you want to handle the approach is up to you, Thornton. If you get into trouble, I cannot get agents there in time to help you. But remember, Surkov is our priority. There may be another way into the building. Satellites are picking up possible roof access. Understood. My gal. You saw the Americans send someone to murder me. I see your every bit of thought Grigori told me, Thornton. You'll cooperate, Zirkov. If you like breathing. What's the point if you'll just kill me afterwards? Do not take me for a fool, Agent Thornton. Trust me, killing you would be a waste of my time. Now, do you want to get out of here or not? Getting out of here safely would be welcome, yes. I'm willing to trust you that far. The embassy security systems are our problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. They must be disabled if we want to escape the building. So I need to find the security terminal and then override the codes. Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But in the monitoring room next to us, there is a maintenance ladder. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the courtyard. We don't have much time. All right, Sir Kov, I have questions for you. Step away from me, Mr. Thornton. And keep your hands where I can see them. I saved your life, now you're gonna shoot me? How's that for gratitude? To be pulled from a shark tank and thrown into another isn't saving someone's life, Mr. Thornton. After you have what you need, you will kill me. Tell me what Halbeck's doing here and who their contact is. Now. I do not have that information with me. Tell me who Halbeck's contact here is, while you still have one knee left. It... it... Halbeck is dealing with... Black Market in Moscow. They... I know that already. A name. Now. Konstantin... Konstantin Breko. He... he is handling the weapons for Halbeck. I... I told him not to. Where can I find him? I... I can send you the information, but I do not have it. 
Breko moves around. But I can find him. I can get you the information. Fine. I expect a call soon. Not that you'll be able to get far on that leg of yours. Better be in touch, Zirkov, or we'll see each other sooner than you'd like. So that's why Zirkov was walking with a limp. He's lucky I didn't shoot him in the head. Yes, fortunate. Guests late nights at the embassy have their drawbacks. Aside from terrorist attacks and rogue American agents. I could have timed it better had I known the VCI was planning to assault the place. But you survived. Even if many of the Marines stationed at the embassy did not. An unfortunate coincidence. Who knew those mercenaries would choose that moment to attack? The Marines were doing their job. They knew the risks. And they killed a lot of mercs, so it evens out. You're surprisingly laissez-faire about the business. There were higher stakes. If the VCI and U.S. Marines want to kill each other, let them. Not my business. You're quite the realist. I would have expected more patriotic rage. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton. But one man against several highly trained squads? No. The odds aren't that good. Is that your way of asking if I had allies? Fuck off, Leyland. Next time wear a billboard with your motivation on it, it'd be more subtle. You're testing my limits, Thornton. Good, you overconfident prick. You've already stepped on my last nerve. Don't expect any manners out of me. Well, with the attack on the embassy and everything to follow, you certainly got the most out of your first few days in Moscow. One would almost think therapy would be in order. I have some doctors I could recommend for you. The first step is admitting you have a problem, Leyland. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. Yeah, I sort of expected more from ex-KGB when I met him, but maybe that's part of his charm. So you know about his past? Yep, him going legit, starting his corporation. Sorry, corporations. Trying to bring capitalism to Russia, the whole bit. I see. Still... You and Surkov didn't have much of a conversation when you finally got him out of the embassy. Yeah, the dumbass pulled a gun on me, so I had to take it away and shoot him with it. Embarrassing, really, but what are you gonna do? But he did tell you who had the Helbeck missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Ah, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. But Constantine... Now there's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star. So if you're going after Braco, you can either sneak in or hit the front gate guns blazing. Whichever you choose, I suggest you not go in alone. I already got both options covered. Got what do you mean? Where are you? Inside Braco's compound. Albatross was nice enough to leave an opening for me. Mike, the mansion security systems are... A little dated. So's the decor. I think I can tap into the surveillance systems. And use it to track down Braco, or the Helbeck data. This whole place is wired on one circuit. Helbeck data first, Braco later. All right. I've isolated the main server. Looks like it's in the basement. A lot of traffic through there. It's probably the main security system, too. And Braco? Can't track him down. So be careful. Mike, I think that's Albatross Breco's torturing. He let himself get captured? I have no idea how he survived in this business so long. I don't know. But if he talks, he could expose you. But if he doesn't, then he's dead. Mike, from the sound of it, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. 
It's either Albatross or the Data, then. Great. Damn it. Where's Albatross? Albatross and Breaker are in the mansion's guest house. If I read the signal right. Mike, you don't have much time. Albatross? Mike, I get up, but I'm in a lot of pain that I'm trying to ignore. Hold on, Albatross. Let me get you out of there. Uh, very well. Can you stand? I can. I can make it to the exit. Do not let Braco escape. If he uses what he stole from Halbeck... I know. He won't get away. Who the fuck are you? Where did you come from? Where the fuck are my guards? I told your guards to go home and go to bed. That jacket was so bright they couldn't sleep. What the fuck did you say? Oh, so you can't hear me over your jacket either. No wonder it was so easy to sneak in here. You came for a fight, you got one, buddy. Put on your red shoes, let's dance. The jacket. Messed up my jacket. Got all this blood on it. With that color scheme, how can you tell? Why the fuck did you come here? Did I kill someone you know? Shoot your fucking dog? Fuck your girl? I was just stopping by, saw the lights on, figured I'd see who was home. And no, you didn't shoot my girl or fuck my dog. Then, what is all this shit? That's exactly what I asked when I saw the decor in here. Look, I made a mistake before. We can work something out. Mother. Maybe you can answer something for me. You and Surkov, based on your dossier, you two used to be partners. Well, maybe not partners, but still, allies. Yeah? So what? So why did you try and take their shipments and cut Surkov out of the loop? Me? Fuck that. Surkov is the one who was doing the deal, and he kept it from me. I served that fuck for years, like a son, like brothers. And all the while he's bleeding me dry. So you stole the missiles and the shipping data to make a point. Look, this place, that sound system, gifts to you. That shit in my vault, that's only one vault I got. I can set you up for life. If I let you live, you mean? Yeah, the big if, huh? I wouldn't ask except, except something about this. You didn't come here to kill me. I don't think I want you on my conscience, Braco. And all that cash didn't do much for your common sense. It sure isn't gonna help with mine. It's end credits then. Let's go. Somehow, you slipped into the mansion without being detected. Did I? It's a serious charge, Leyland. Breaking and entering, trespassing. I'm hurt. And you avoided his security systems, guards, and gained access to his systems. Assuming I did any of that, is there something wrong? Hardly. If you were there, and we have evidence you were, then you must have had a good reason. And I'd be curious to know what you found. Bad taste and lots of it. You should see the art he's got hanging there. I mean, if I had been there at all. Fine. You seem to take pride in being untraceable, Thornton. It's an impressive skill. And one that's wasted in government. Video footage was recovered from the security cameras at the mansion. Although not many cameras were left intact. So why the questions, then? Obviously, you know everything that happened in the mansion already. Not exactly because you weren't the only one attacking the place. Just like the embassy. True. The two missions had a lot in common. Mostly wrong place, wrong time, bad coincidences, all that. Or perhaps you're not a lone agent after all. 
There's only so many coincidences that can happen before they stop being coincidences. Do you think I actually plan these moments? You're giving me a lot of credit for winging it. I'll take the compliment, but trust me, blind luck is more my ally than anything else. Of course. Whatever the reason, Braco certainly has a way with trespassers. I heard he captured the leader of the attackers. Tortured them. I wouldn't put it past him. He's got a temper. So you didn't come across a victim? No signs of anyone being tortured? Nothing you heard or saw? Being in that place was torture enough, even before the music kicked in. Then whoever was being interrogated must have somehow been able to get away when you had your fight with Braco. Or they were rescued. Maybe. And maybe whoever rescued them didn't like the thought of leaving someone to die at Braco's hands. But hey, that's just a guess. Sounds like someone with a code of ethics. Do you even know what a code of ethics is? It's all relative. For example, an action may be illegal, but not unethical. And vice versa. The two do not overlap as much as government prosecutors would think. Oh, is this philosophy class now? me without my notebook and pencil. <laughs> It'll take us some time to find a new contact in Moscow, if we find one at all. You're thorough, Thornton, I'll give you that. For a minute there, I thought we'd underestimated you. That you might be too dumb to figure it out. So, he underestimated me and thought I was too dumb to figure it out. Looks like Surkov's in for a surprise. Then you have the upper hand. I don't think anyone knows what happened in the mansion, and Surkov's already under the radar. It might be a little too early for congratulations. I still need to get Surkov. Got a fix on where he's hiding yet? In doing the background check? I run a batch file to track any connections or equity Surkov has in local companies. Especially dummy corporations. One rose to the top. Molotech. It's local, and it's been shut down for months. Why Molotech? Because the batch file also checks key cards, cell phone, and internet activity. And all of those have been detected at Molotech in the past 24 hours. And according to the timestamps, not long after you left Surkov at the embassy. That's great, Mina. Well done. The next time I go rogue and I'm hunted by every intelligence agency in the world, you're going to be the first one I call. Agent Thornton. I may even do you the honor of answering the phone. If I don't have any other job offers. But Mike, when you go to Molotech, watch yourself, okay? Surkov, he's... I'll be careful. I promise I won't blow up anything or shoot anyone unless I have to. Mr. Thornton, just when I think you can't irritate me anymore. I thought Braco would be a sufficient distraction, but it seems I underestimated you. So what are you here for? To kill me? You sent me after Braco. Care to tell me why? Because you left yourself open to the possibility? Really, it was a simple match. Two birds, one bullet. So you were the one working with Halbeck all along? Again, you jumped to conclusions. I don't have the time or patience to explain it to you. But here's someone who will do it for me. Champion chick. Mr. Thornton has some questions he wants to ask you. Please, oblige him. Sounds like we could work together instead. I... I 
read your dossier, Doc. You're a man of your word. If bringing Hull back down is your mission, I... I will help you. All right, lay still. I can treat some of the bleeding, but I'll need to get you to a hospital. That... that is enough for me. The records you want, the ones incriminating Halbeck, they are on my embassy workstation. Look for the encryption codes in my contact list, under Jacob. Thank you, Sir Cove. Mina, can you call for an ambulance? I called the local hospital. Help is on the way. His information on the encryption codes checks out, Mike. Now get out of here. Will do. Don't move, Sir Cove. I... I will not dream of it. 